All right. I forgot to ask you one about uh, big number two. So having the fellow out there, uh, you you went without football for a while. I'm sure you were able to talk with him about that and, and get him straight. Just what's it mean to have him out here for him and the team? Well, it's exciting, man. You know, with the challenges of injuries and all the things that go on in football, to have him back out here practicing was uh, – it was really good. I know the guys is excited about having them out there, so uh, it was good to see them moving around. What did you see from that defensive line against Towson and the performances? Obviously, the rushing yards isn't a, isn't a great thing, but you're looking to bounce back and just continue to develop the scheme. Well, uh, the biggest thing that I took away from is that uh, you know we still got a lot of work to do. Uh, you know, but we got after the quarterback, so we got some good hits on him. You know, got a couple of sacks which was really good to see. Um, we played a lot of guys. Um, we was able to get you know, some of those young guys out there and a bunch of the new guys out there and, and get their feet wet, so to speak. Um, so, you know, we got a lot to build upon from that from that performance, but uh, I'm, I'm still excited about it. And uh, the guys know what, what challenge lies ahead. So we just getting ready for the next one. Which of these new guys can make a name for themselves? I mean, you've had some, some guys to go in there. And it could it be anyone or? Uh... Um, oh. Because it, the opportunity is certainly there. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that, uh, you know, obviously Cam Rutherford is a guy that flashed throughout that game. Um, you know, Rob Jackson has been doing a really good job throughout the offseason and carrying over with some good momentum. You know, Kamari Burns, that was his first time playing, you know, college football, which is really good to see. Um, Cam Wilson, you know, was running around. So, it, it, you know, just the collection of all those guys putting it all together. Um, I think that any one of those guys can, can build upon that performance and, and end up being one of those guys for us down the road. You've heard Coach Satterfield talk about a guy like Marquez Parker all off season. Just talk about what you've seen from him there as a freshman so far. Uh, he's done a really good job of being a sponge. You know, um, something that we try to, you know, teach, you know, in our room is, hey, you know, just learn, man. Just learn. So when you do get your opportunity, you're ready to go. And uh, he's done a really good job, uh, especially this, this, this week. You know, leading into this next game, uh, of being more focused, being more locked in, and really just taking what he learned from last week and putting it in, per in preparation for this week. So, uh, really good offseason out of him, and uh, we we just look forward to you know finding a, a, an opportunity for him out there at some point this season. Phillips is the veteran for you and hasn't been dang deaf. You almost want to hug him every game. That you know, thank, <laughs> thank God you're you're good. Well, you know, every each one of these guys got their own superpowers, right? And for him, he's he's been a real healthy player, you know, since <laughs> I've been here. And uh, you know, that's just one of his traits. Like he show up every single day. He's durable and take care of himself. And uh, you know, his leadership, and his toughness is something that you know we've been using as an example for the young guys and, and all of the new guys here. So heading into Pitt on Saturday, obviously the last time they came to Nippert Stadium when, when you were a player, roughly. Yes, Talk about what you've been able to see from this new Pitt style offense heading into this Saturday's matchup. Yeah, it's uh, pretty surprising, you know, coming from all the years of you know playing against them and just the years of how they, you know, handle business on offense for all these years. But um, you know, it's going to be a challenge, man. Anytime a team opens it up and throws the ball as many times as they did and, and putting their playmakers in space, that's always a challenge. But um, you know, you got to evolve over time, and that's kind of the process that they're going through on offense. You remember your last game? Uh, I think. Come Zach, on now. Zach said like three <laughs> and a half. Man. Uh, Come on, three yeah. Three and a half tackles for loss, though. You might remember that. Yeah. Well, you know, it was nip at night. I think it was a home opener, and uh, you know, it was a good game. You know, and uh, we was able to come home with the victory and, and uh, you know, secure you know a win. You know, for the Bearcats. So. Um, the guys are aware of the last time that they were here, and we try to, you know, keep that fire burning, and hopefully we can get another one. Good. Thanks, coach. Appreciate awesome. it. Thanks, coach.